There's no doubt that the summer fires in 2019 to 2020 was unprecedented in terms of impact. By March 2020, the summer fires burned almost 19 million hectares, destroyed over 3,000 houses and killed 33 people. It will take many years to restore the economy in the impacted areas and for the animal and biodiversity to recover. According to the early estimates from the Global Fire Emission Database, the bushfires likely contributed 900 million metric tons of carbon emission. The map I show here shows the estimated fire carbon emission across the continent by the end of 2019. A clear increase from the November can be seen due to the bushfires. There are various ways to quantify the size and the scale of the fires. Most of them are based on the aerial or satellite images and field validation. In addition to identifying the burnt areas, knowing the severity of the burnt areas is also very important. The figure shows area with more severe change to the previous land surface condition in dark purple. We use sophisticated computer algorithms to automatically map burn area using the 25 meters resolution satellite images from Landsat 8. Accurate information of fire severity helps to better understand the ecosystem impact of bushfires and the recovery rate. Many particles and gases in the smoke are water soluble and will be absorbed into clouds and rain droplets and carried back to the earth. So dust, ash and microscopic charcoal in the smoke are heavy and often pulled quickly back to the surface by gravity. Smaller particles or organic aerosols in the smoke can travel around the entire world on high altitude winds and last for several weeks. The smoke particles mostly lingered in the troposphere, but can inject it into stratosphere. It depends on where the fire occurs and which directions the winds are blowing. Here are some images captured by the Himawari A satellite in January 2020. You can see that the smoke generated from the Australian bushfires traveled more than 2,000 kilometers and blanketed New Zealand. The gases in the bushfire smoke are toxic to the environment and to human health. It can significantly impact people with cardiovascular and respiratory problems. The, the long-term environmental impacts include damage to water catchment and potential effects on global carbon cycle. It has indirect impacts on the economy as well by disrupting the communities. Using satellite observations can help us to better understand the extent and the severity of the bushfires and the impacts on the life and the environment.